Oh god, this is so hard. <laughs> Billy, welcome to Celebrity. Can't wait. Thanks for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, so in the show, we spill the tea on your career while enjoying a nice British cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Now, as an American, I'm still learning the best way to make a cup of tea. So please explain to me how you make the perfect cup of tea. Since we have a teapot, yeah. We should put the tea bags in the teapot. What? Yeah. This is new. <laughs> so one for me, one for you, and one for the pot. Okay, I love this. Okay, then give it a stir. I'm blown away. <laughs> then I pour milk first. Wow, that is a controversial opinion it based is. on some comments I've gotten in other videos. I drink it normally with dairy, but um, I've got a flaky scalp, so I'm going without. <laughs> Love. Because I'm, I'm convinced that's why I have okay. a flaky scalp. Well, hopefully this helps though. <laughs> but if you've got a pot, you could do this. Wow. And look, you get what my nan calls money on the top. So okay. The bubbles. The bubbles. Money on the top. You've got like money that. on the top of your tea. Okay. Then you've got the tea and you've got your money and chin. Cheers. Chin, I'm chin. so excited to try it this way. See, it I think it's so hot. I need to, uh, my, my, American, my American mouth can't handle the hot <laughs> right away. I yeah. can literally drink it straight out of the can kettle. Can you? Yeah, but I think that's an issue I should address. <laughs> well, while we enjoy this nice cup of tea, mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and spill the tea on your career. And just a warning though, as the questions go on and on, we are gonna build up to the piping hot tea question, okay? <laughs> okay. So just a warning for the final question. Oh, okay. Scoop is incredible. Thank you. And you give such a stellar performance. And I honestly, I was gripped the entire time. Audiences are going to love it. Oh, good. Uh, the tagline for the film is, to get an interview this big, you have to be bold. What do you think is the boldest thing you've ever done in your career that has worked in your favor? Going from singing to acting. So I'd only really been doing it for maybe four years max. And I think that was really shocking to the people around me. Yeah. But it felt like the right time for me. And I, and yeah, it was a leap of faith. And then, I mean, you landed Doctor Who, so it's- It worked out. It worked out, <laughs> yeah. And in Scoop, you obviously work alongside Gillian Anderson, who is phenomenal in it as well. I'm curious to know, is there anything that you learned about Gillian while filming that audiences might be surprised to learn? That she drinks regular Coke. <laughs> As opposed to a diet or a... Yeah. I think she loves a, like a really sugary snack. Mm -hmm. And you don't see that in many actresses. Yeah. What I love about that is how quickly you had that answer. Well, because it felt like a kind of, it felt pretty remarkable. You started out your career um, singing at such a young age. I've even heard you refer to as the British Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. So do you have one favorite memory of pop star life that you still kind of reflect on? Doing the Brit Awards mm. was pretty special. And the smash hits poll winners party, which was a really big deal over here. I was kind of hoping you would talk about Smoking cigarettes with Spice Girls, like you just talked about on the Jonathan Ross show, right? Was it that? that also. <laughs> That's crazy. First of all, it's the Spice Girls, and then they're gonna let me smoke. I had to pretend that I didn't love cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. As a child. Yeah. I mean, that's wild. I mean, I bet even wild. just getting to know the Spice Girls is so cool. I know, but then, like, buy me in a fag of them. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of early 2000s singers are doing reunion tours and comebacks. Girls Aloud, I Sugar know. Babes, Can't wait for that Spice Girls recently. So, are we gonna have a Billy Piper tour? No. Oh. I know. Maybe one day. An Eras tour. We want it. You want the it? People want the Eras tour from you. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. As you already mentioned, you've stopped singing to focus on acting. Obviously, you landed a role as Rose Tyler in Doctor Who, which is just amazing, and the fans love you for. Um, is there a favorite behind the scenes moment from filming Doctor Who that you still kind of reflect on and, and love? I think the final scene of my uh, time there, which was me and David saying goodbye to each other on a beach, um, the episode was called Doomsday. <laughs> I love you. It's quite right. I, I felt so moved by leaving that show and leaving him and, and parting ways. It felt very real to me. I experienced it um, on a, 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 in a genuine way. I've seen you've been called the Doctor's soulmate, his greatest companion of all time, and some people even say the reason Doctor Who is even still on TV. Wow. So with such a loyal fan base, and as someone who everyone just loves so much, what is one piece of advice that you have for Shooty and the new cast for the upcoming series? More dance numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I know right? that too. It was almost like musical theater, suddenly mm. the last couple of episodes. It's like, okay, 
you're dancing and miming now. I love this. And any chance we'll be seeing you make an appearance anytime soon? Oh, I soon? hope so. Especially in the musical Especially episode. The musical. Yes, yeah. come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So people were shocked enough to see you in Doctor Who, and then obviously even more shocked to see you play a call girl. And I have friends. <laughs> <Really shocked. laughs> I have friends that loved you so much as a singer, but they were too young to watch you on that. So I'm curious to know, were there any conversations about potentially alienating a younger audience, or was that kind of the point to like break a mold in a way? I wanted to sort of break away from this uh, being part of a family show. A woman wrote a blog based on her experience as a high class escort. And so when blogging was a thing, mm -hmm. it was a big thing, those were really, that was a really interesting book which we then adapted and made into a TV show. We got kind of critically slammed. Yeah, but people. <laughs> but people, loved like you. The, the critics hated it, but the fans really liked it. And that's what we do everything for the fans here, especially at BuzzFeed UK. It's all for the fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any chance of a call girl reunion or reboot anytime soon? No, I've, I've hung up those. Those cool girl things. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like those call girl with knickers or something. I don't know. Uh, no, I still have some of those because you know I would never wear underwear like that, so I keep them in a nice box. I have like loads of things from different productions. That's one of the things I have. That type of role I think is kind of dumb for me. I have teenagers, so it's a bit cringe for them if I start. You know, they uh, have friendship groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different world. Unless it was a teen, musical. Well, I have yeah. Unless it's a musical, then I'll do it. <laughs> Um, and if you could swap lives with any of the characters you've ever played, for even for a day, who would you want to swap with? Uh, Sam McAllister. Yeah. She's unlike anyone I've ever met. An absolute powerhouse, too. Unreal powerhouse. Stuck to her guns. Yeah. So high energy, so curious, so positive, so warm. And the fashion. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Did you... Of course. Uh, yeah. The fashion is so good. Yeah. How were conversations with Sam? Um, prior to the, to the to filming. We had a lot of hard relates, and mm. we had some martinis. Oh, nice, that she always She loves a martini. I hadn't ever had one before. Really? No. How does she drink her martinis, remember? Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a great job so far. Okay. But it is time for the final piping hot tea question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you nervous? Maybe. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> um, <laughs> Scoop is obviously about a major scandal that breaks out that the press brings to light. Yeah. I'm curious to know, has there ever been a scandal, either true or not true, reported on in your life, that you either want to set the record straight on or wish just never happened? Oh, God. Let me think. I was probably somehow emotionally buried them. <laughs> Let me think. Well, this oh. is a therapy set. We have our tea, so. Oh, God. They're all pretty bleak. <laughs> Oh, this is so hard. Um, oh my God. <laughs> On the spot. I'm so sorry, but I'm also not sorry. <laughs> well, there have been um, a number of connections made between me and various different men. Mm. Is it with the women? No, mostly men. <laughs> um, which haven't been true. Tabloids love some relationship goss. They do. They yeah. really, really do. They yeah. love it. I'm not gonna spill, spill, spill the tea. <laughs> no, that's so fine. I, I, that's enough tea that was mm, spilled, yeah. Okay. And a final cheers. Cheers. And thanks for sharing today. Thank you.